After months of debate, an agreement has been reached on the future of Bemidji's Tourist Information Center. Josh Peterson explains how a united effort to work together has brought two organizations back together. For decades, the Bemidji Area Chamber of Commerce has sat alongside the iconic statues of Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. So in the eyes of the building's main tenant, it only made sense to invite Visit Bemidji to move in and share the space. That is why both groups put together a proposal to work together. Task force has been created of some chamber leaders and Visit Bemidji leaders to put together a plan to co-locate the Visit Bemidji entity back into the Tourist Information Center. This is not the first time these two entities have shared the same space. The two organizations worked side by side until the opening of the Sanford Center. But over the course of the last lease, many changes have taken place, which is why some council members want to see that the lease is updated to reflect the times. As should we consider what the market rate is. Mm -hmm. I don't think that it is fair to the taxpayer to provide um, an under market rate any more than we would to anyone else. The city also considered moving the Parks and Recreation Department into the space. That idea caused some heated debate between the city and the chamber. Even though the two are ready to move forward, Councilman Mealhouse still had to vent his frustrations. I, I was really frustrated this summer at the chamber digging in their heels. I read half-truths at best in the Chamber newsletter. With the idea of moving the Parks and Recreation Department now off the table, the Chamber and Visit Bemidji can now move forward together. Where can we move to now uh, in the future so that we are all, you know, aligned in a sustainable way, as I mentioned before, and, and really do what's best for the community. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. The current lease for the chamber runs through the end of the year. Plans are now underway to create one or two separate leases for the two organizations. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.